Okay, hi and welcome to this session. Today I want to introduce you to a new tool that I've discovered called X Header. Now, if you're doing any kind of online marketing uh, and building multiple sites, X Header is going to be a great tool to help you quickly and easily build header or banners uh, that you can place at the top of your AdSense sites or within your blog. Um, X Header is at xheader.com and it is a free download. You will have to register it, but it is a free download. Um, this is, for example, a sample of what X headers can produce. So I've already downloaded it. You, you will want to uh, scroll down, fill out your name and email address down here at the bottom. Or, I'm sorry, click here to download and then I, then I think you have to fill out your name and email address. Uh, you'll get a confirmation email, click that confirmation link, and then they'll send you the download link. Now I have already installed it to save a little time today. Uh, so let me bring that up right here. Okay, Xheader, like I said, is a desktop application that will reside on your machine. And it will allow you to create headers in a variety of formats and with a variety of features. Now, when you first sign up, you're going to get 50 default templates. He offers another 500 for free. If you'll join his list, do it. Um, a couple of marketing messages that you can cancel later is worth the additional headers that you're going to get. Now, when I say templates, these are the backgrounds. They are, by default, roughly 750 by 150 to 190 and there are a variety of headers in here. Some are fairly generic that you can layer any kind of text on and then some are very specific uh, that you might want to layer a little less text on. They're broken out by categories. There's audio, business, family, fashion, a whole bunch of them. So it's, it's worth that extra sign up to go get um, the extra 500 templates. And if you, um, if you create your own that you want to use as a base template, I believe there's a way to use and open it in here and add the additional elements. So he's got a pretty good video, and I'm going to recommend that you watch that uh, when you get it. I'm not going to try and recreate what he's done. But I am going to show you really quickly just how easy it is to create a banner. So I like this background. I'm, I'm pretending I'm putting together a uh, mommy bloggers or business bloggers uh, website. Okay, this is a real nice looking business woman. Um, so I'm going to click once to select, a second time to load it. It will bring it up into X header. There's the banner. And now everything I do, whether it's lines, squares, uh, importing other images, adding text, will be layered on this banner. So let's say I want some text, and I want it right over here. So I'm going to click the text, and then click where I want it to appear, and then type the text down here. Business Moms Bloggers Unite. Okay. Team view or uh, the webinar that's making it where I where I can't just reshape it, so I'll just put a insert a page break there manually. Um, choose my font, choose my size, uh, something like that maybe, um, and then some additional effects. I can emboss it. And this is probably a bad font to choose embossing. So let me try this one. Move this one in. Okay. Embossing is just kind of raising it up off the page. Um, chisel is dropping it down into the page. Outlining it. Outline fill with different color. Or add a glow. So you have quite a few effects that you can do. Now, is this meant to replace... Photoshop? Absolutely not. But for a quick banner, there's there's not much out there that can compete. Just a quick, throw it together. They've got some great templates. Now, like most programs, most um, header or photo uh, uh, editing, 
you have layers. So if I were to add a new square right here, okay, it would appear on top of the layer that I had already created. So I can push it back, and actually I, I probably need to change the color so you can actually see it go backwards. So let's change it to antique white. Okay, so now let's bring it forward. That's where it was. When I push it back, it just layers out there behind it. So I could add some additional um, elements to this, you know, additional squares, additional circles. I can fill them. I can add some opacity or a shadowing um, and offset it here. So again, not, you know, it's, it's definitely not going to replace Photoshop or Fireworks if you have that. But for quick and dirty, this works really well. So when you've got it where you want it, save it as a JPEG, choose your compression or resolution, and it'll tell you right here, if you choose this, how large the file size will be. Well, I know that 80% gives me pretty close to what I want in, in both terms of file size and how it displays. So she's a little sharper here than she is here, but I'm okay with the loss. So I'm going to click once to select, and then a second time to bring up my save dialog. Uh, put it somewhere on my computer, and then it's ready for me to upload and place on my site or use in my site development. So X header, quick and dirty, um, beats some of, uh, some of the free tools that are out there, but certainly doesn't beat any of the paid tools. Any questions on X header? Go ahead. This one does because the template contained them. Okay, so I... Yeah, this is a part of the background image. Now, if I, you know, if I didn't want that, I, I could cut and paste or, or pull out various elements, you know, select and... and copy but now we're getting into some advanced editing so if that's the case you might just simply want to choose a different one from the template library something that had uh, more like what you wanted and like I said there are quite a few in here um, I haven't uh, with the exception of pets which Bill I know you're sorry to hear that and Carol you as well I, I haven't found Well, no, and I have the 500 on here, but see, pets is not in here. Now, I haven't looked at every single one of them, but I, I haven't found a lot for pets. I, I'm disappointed to say. Yeah, it does. Discrimination, so. It, it depends. Now, one of the things that a lot of my students are doing is they're developing AdSense sites. And AdSense sites are quick and dirty, but they need a header to kind of make them look professional, uh, which was why I originally came across X header. Now, you can create an image that is any size. Uh, you can import photos, style it, and then use it as a header on your blog.